having a show that you watch week by week is great because you have something to look forward to every week. But it's also torturous because every time the episode ends, you have to wait another week. No garbage toss, unfortunately. Okay, you guys tell me if my math is right. I ran 1.3 miles. It took me six minutes, 27 seconds, 387 seconds. I divided that by 1.3. I got 297 seconds per mile. So that's four minutes, 57.6 seconds per mile. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna actually install a running app so we can get a more accurate measure, but I'm pretty sure I can do five minutes a mile. Have you guys seen that Castlevania Netflix series? I had heard good things about it. I watched the first two episodes and it was all right, but I've heard that the third and the fourth are even better. I'm gonna watch that right now. Um, actually, I'm gonna cook dinner first. You know what's weird is that a lot of life is doing things that feel right will result in good results. But then other times you have to do things that don't necessarily feel right, but you know they will lead to good results. Talking to my camera, sometimes I'm like, it feels like what I'm gonna say is not profound enough, so it's not even worth filming. So then lots of times I'll get paralyzed. But on those days where I just film everything that I think of and then edit it down later, it always turns out really well. It's like you have to not be married to the idea of getting it right on the very first try. Okay, uh, updated thoughts on Castlevania. It's just okay. It's not bad. With video game adaptations, I think that that's what we kind of have gotten used to. If that's the best I can say about it, I don't, I can't really recommend it, but now I'm gonna finish watching Sherlock season whatever it's on. Yesterday when I was at Brennan's house, we ate lots of junk food. Now, that is not such a terribly big deal, but the problem is it creates this desire within you to where you need more of it. Now today, I made a fatal error, which is that for dinner, I did not have nearly enough to eat. I got hungry. Cut to the chase, I made some oatmeal. I ate all the oatmeal. Cut to the chase even further, it did nothing to satiate my hunger. So you have eating a bunch of junk food that tasted so good yesterday. You had not eating enough dinner. You had still not being satisfied. And the only answer is McDonald's. <laughs> I was gonna show you me eating the food, but I don't want you to get hungry for McDonald's and then go get McDonald's, because nobody should be eating this food. It barely constitutes food in the traditional sense of the word, like nutrition or nourishment. You know, junk food in general is just like pure taste and entertainment. It's just like alcohol. Like, it's fun, it can taste good, but it's not good for you, and too much of it will make you feel bad. I used to think there was some way to completely eliminate from your life, but I don't think it's very realistic, and it also causes binges, so like you don't eat it for a long time and then suddenly you'll binge on it. Better to have, better to have like a release valve on occasion so that you don't go crazy and just be like, ah, F it, I'm gonna just eat everything. Or just eat good food at your meals and you won't get hungry for junk food later. That's also another option. Probably the smarter one. You know, that's a, kind of like a million dollar question is when you have all the food in the world how do you make it so that food does not become entertainment that is a good question.
question. Yo, so that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I gotta take my mom to the airport in approximately three hours and 10 minutes. So I'll probably be napping after that. Uh, anyways, have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow. That's like, um, like if you like, it's like a little kid when they tell a lie, they almost want to tell people that they told a lie. Yeah. <laughs> and like if you do something stupid like that, you're like, I want to get out in front of this and own my mistake in a, in a public forum. <laughs>